we might actually develop some empathy for our software, which sounds completely ludicrous just by saying it out loud. Empathy for your software, what the hell are you talking about? I think science fiction plays a formidable role in how we think up new technology. It's not that I agree with what Hollywood puts out, which is mostly about how we kill the human species if it's in regards to AI, but I do like their willingness to come up with something so outrageous that at least if you take a few steps back, how does that play into the future? And there's a couple of movies of late for where I actually think they've done it really well. And the first one is Her. So the way we interact with computers, this whole voice-enabled world that he lives in, I find that quite realistic. I actually see that as one version of the future. Hi. Hi. Then this ex machina. There's not a week for where we don't hear somebody talk about the Turing test. Do we now have a machine that can fool you into believe that it's not a machine because it's behind the curtain and you actually don't know? That movie does a really good thing. At the very beginning, he sees that here's a robot. The creator goes that this is a machine, but I'll see if you want to end up treating it like a human. We've reached the point now where software isn't just bits and bytes, but her. And I think the whole vocabulary as these agents arrive, will change. It's not a bug, she made a mistake. It is not slow, she's running late. And that I find interesting. Because as that changes, our behavior and attitude towards software might actually also change. There was a video that came out from Boston Dynamics, and you have this robot carrying a box, and then you have this asshole of an employee with a hockey stick. Him, I don't like. The robot, nice. Him. I'm gonna find him. Next time I'm in Boston, I'm gonna look that guy up. Why? Where did that come from? Because really, it's just a machine. But somehow, that wasn't fair. It was just trying to move the box from here to there. And why did you need to hit it with that hockey stick? You're not a nice person. That, uh, for me at least, and I've been thinking about it for a long time, was just a surprising kind of moment where, okay, so I guess the robot is my new friend. 